It's just gone 11 in Marrakesh. People sit out on the street on a summer's night. But there's a sudden panic as they start to run. Seconds later, their seats are covered in rubble. We've had an earthquake in the hotel. He's here, he's here, he's here. We have to rush. One of the most powerful earthquakes in Morocco's history has just struck, killing over a thousand people. The house rocked aggressively. Everyone was scared and I was shocked and I didn't understand what was happening. I thought it was only my house that was moving because it's fragile and old. I heard people screaming. Everyone went out of their houses. The street is full of people and women screaming. There was confusion at first as the tremors are felt at a restaurant in central Morocco. This gamer is live streaming as it unfolds. Wait, what? Bro, bro, the house! Guys, guys, the house is shaking, guys. Guys, I'm not even joking, the house, the house is shaking. Yeah, there's an earthquake, yes. No, go, 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 go. The epicenter of the earthquake was in the Atlas Mountains, southwest of Marrakesh, home to many villages that are hard to reach. As they desperately try to rescue people from the rubble, it could take days before we know the scale of the disaster. Over a thousand people are injured, more than 700 critically. Burying cars and flattening homes, it is the most powerful earthquake to hit this area in more than a hundred years. Made all the more deadly as it happened at night while people slept. With that in mind, experts say they expect the number of people killed here to rise significantly. Well, earlier I spoke to Samir Benes, who's editor-in-chief of the Morocco World News and is currently in Fez. I began by asking him what happened to him and his family when the earthquake hit. All of a sudden, I heard my wife, my wife saying, uh, an earthquake, an earthquake. Immediately, I urged everyone to rush out of the, of the house and we went to the garden. I grabbed my phone, I called my, my, my brothers and they told me that everyone in their buildings rushed out of their houses and were open in the in the streets and taken in uh, by panic and and oh uh, immediately i i, I just wrote a post on facebook saying that i felt tremor in in fez and to my surprise everyone started commenting and saying that we felt that we also felt in casablanca in rabat in kinetra in agadir in marrakesh then i started really panicking and they felt that uh, that was a nationwide uh, earthquake, and they uh, I started really having uh, feeling uh, deep sorrow because when I saw that uh, that earthquake was of magnitude six point eight or seven, mm. then I realized that we were really witnessing a very devastating earthquake. Sounds like you were terrified. It must have been a really scary situation for you and your family. Believe me, like tomorrow, this morning when I I start seeing like the, the scale of devastation, I start crying. I'm so sorry. What do you think will happen next, in the next day, the next few hours for Morocco? Well, uh, thank God uh, we have a military that are well trained. All the military units are mobilized in the rescue operations and they ensure that the Moroccan government, if they feel that this exceeds our expertise and our uh, means, of course, they will uh, appeal for uh, international international uh, help. Dr. Samar Benis, thank you very much for joining us and do stay safe. Thank you very much.